our tank as we left it a little bit ago and our parts accumulation as we have here okay and, and I'm, I'm gonna put them right down in there like that right there the let's get some water ain't got I'll have to get some more but let's uh, let, let's put the water in there that we got here see if it'll cover our parts up okay it, it did I have to get some more because I do want this tank to be up within about a half of an inch of this crossbar don't want that to, to be in the water and and I know what you're thinking is how come I ain't put no washing soda in there well I did when I set the tank up and it's done nothing but get dirtier as time goes okay now this 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 right here is the way you can erode metal from a part if you hook these up backwards if you put this positive over there and the ground over here it reverses the process and these parts here starts eroding away the current is I'm gonna say coming from that direction no I'm not I'm not I don't know that so I'm not gonna say that this part over here will eat away if you hook it up like this right here and you leave it in here enough time and you come back you won't have anything you're gonna be completely gone but immediately it would it would encrust in a big old go back and check mr. Pete's video and he'll show you that big old encrustation it gets onto a piece of metal a wrench so I left a little bit of of room for learning in in that description I know it wasn't enough and it ain't you you need to read several different persons articles about this before you attempt it so when, when you when you put this positive here negative over there on the parts to be clean when when you turn when you turn the battery charger on when you turn the current to it it's this this plate here immediately starts eroding away uh, it's not I don't think it's a chemical re reaction I think it's a, a electrical process but this part this graphite starts eating away and it only removes iron oxide it only removes rust you, you could leave them parts in this tank right here uh, I, I, for a month and it would not remove the metal but all all and it will come to a point where it actually don't do anything other than it's still energy still energizing so it will keep eroding this plate as long as it's on it does keep eroding but it don't eat the metal away some extra education uh, will teach you why if you if, if I used if I used uh, let me get one if if I used a file over here in place of this graphite or just a piece of 1018 steel or this part if I use that over here in place of the graphite then it would eat this part completely away and when I took it up out of there and it would still be cleaning this part but it would eat this part up the and it also would at that point in time would have a great big old encrustation of rust around here forms on this part over here if it's just some type of metal rebar uh, all the different metals that you use for the anodes over here eats away 
erodes. Rust is really bad. Another thing is copper. You, you, you don't want to use copper wire in the liquid to hang these on or for the electrodes. It's just, uh, copper is, uh, well, it's just a green mess. I mean, it's terrible. Just don't, just don't use copper. And, and that's not to say that if you have a tank like this, put you a copper, hang you one on there and do it in order to learn it to yourself. You should know that. Try, try that. But be forewarned that anything you put in this tank, the different metals, uh, that you put in here and the different chemicals that you put in here you are producing a different kind of gas off gassing the different metals different solutions produces different off gassing just that simple and the process here with the graphite and the washing soda is in the direction to produce less gas of any kind, or it be hydrogen or something else. The, the, the main, the main uh, direction here is to produce less hydrogen or gases. Repeated that. It was important enough to repeat. Okay, let's move to the... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, before we leave the tank right here, that's uh, a stick. Just a sliver of a stick. Wood. Could be anything. And uh, uh, you, you says, how much washing soda do I put in there? Okay, the, 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 way, the way to know how much washing soda to put in here is to set your tank up exactly like we got it here with nothing in there except your tap water what, whatever kind of water that you're going to be using fill your tank up with nothing in it except the parts that just like we're doing it here and then you turn your battery charger on get the current flowing uh, most likely you won't have any amps at all most likely it'll be zero you won't even know the battery charger's on at that point you would pour you in, let's say a half a cup. Just pour in a half a cup of washing soda. Take the stick and start stirring this around, and everything's on. And you're just, you're just, all you're doing is agitating. You're mixing up that washing soda into the water solution. At the same time, you are watching the amp meter on the on the battery charger, and you can slowly see that amp pan increase in the amps it'll start it'll start the current will start going up going through the through the uh, solution and and you would stir this around okay when you think you've got that amount of washing soda mixed up in there and you say you're only two amps and you really want it to be four then put another half a cup in there stir it around watching your amp meter and the way I do it is I, I bring the amp meter up between four and six amps. Somewhere there. You know, it, you call it five, you know. But, uh, but that's the way I, on the first tank, and, and after that, after you once start contaminating this water, then most likely you won't never have to put no more washing soda in it. You just add water to it. And, and the evaporation, you know, it's according, if it's in the sunlight, hot sunny day, it's going to evaporate more. The more amps that you put in this tank will evaporate the water. Uh, but the more amps is, it's kind of counterproductive because the, the, it, the more amps will make it foam more it'll make more foam on the tank it just it's a little bit too much also the important part is this surface area right here can be too large for this tank you, you can have way too much surface area and it's size proportion oh that's not right but you know you know you get to you just know what i mean 
so now let's uh, let's turn that let's, let's turn that let's move that battery charger over here and I, I will tell you something uh, I probably ought to show that to you the battery charger and you, you can see the one I'm using it's just an old Sears uh, got the got the amp meter on it right there and I've got it on 12 volt it's on it's on the 10 amp side and it's on start and it's on all other on the batteries there it's on deep cycle or all others and uh, it goes from zero to 10 and then it gets up in a red part above 10 amps so let's just set it right there maybe we'll be able to see that right there and and and, and 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 this thing sets out here underneath the shed. There's no walls or roof, no door, or none. It's just a roof. And this sets in in the dry. It don't get rained on. And like I say, this 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 has been on for more than a year. I think it is, without unhooking it until I decided to do this video. We've got everything hooked up here, like you see. Now, now I, I gotta tell you something else too. I tell you a tip. You actually can tri trick. You can trick some of them, some of these new battery chargers that has that safety features and all in it. You actually can trick those chargers into working for this if you use a 12 volt battery. You you can put a 12 volt battery right here. Hook these hook these cables to the battery as if you was charging the battery you use a full charge battery that charge it up to 13 volts or whatever it is and put the battery here hook this up and then hook your two leads from the negative and the positive to this so you're actually using out of the battery and this is recharging the battery when it gets down to it. You actually can trick some of these new chargers into working. Uh, the older type with the big transformer in there without the, all that electronic stuff works better. But we got this, we got this, we got this. Let's just see how many amps we got. Uh, plug in, plug in so you can see what we're doing here. Nothing is plugged in now. And we just hooked that up. You've seen that happen. So let's plug her in. Okay, did you see that? How many amps is that? That's four amps. It's it's a little bit on this side. I mean, just just ever such a little bit off four amps. And then the next line is six. So it's like 4.2 amps. And you know, I just let that ride. I just let that ride. Uh, immediately, if you look down in there already, now immediately, I can see bubbling right there and I can see bubbling at the parts but I see no action at all on that plate over there so that means that there's no current going from here to there so we, we, have, to, we have to make us a contact let's do this one okay nothing so it must be this one Okay, now I got it. I got bubbles at that plate. I got bubbles here, and I've got just little, little. It's light. It's not a lot, and and bubbles in yonder. So this tank's working at uh, at four four amps. So we'll let that go. We're just going to be hands. I, I'm going to fill it up with water. I'll fill it on up till it's one half inch or so below that thing right there, this cross piece. And then uh, I'm going to leave it. It's it's in the evening time here on the east coast of Arkansas. Nice sunny day. So I'm going to leave this. Weather forecast is good. Even if it, this is set out here all winter and worked every day. Uh, I mean, it did freeze up, uh, but it still worked. It takes longer in a cold water. You just leave it in there a little extra long. On a hot sunny day, this thing setting out the sun, it, it really cleans really good. It needs to be warm water to work efficiently. 
and this water here it's uh, well it's whatever it is today so we're on, we're on four let's call it four amps we've got action everywhere we need it and uh, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow evening which will be like 24 hours or so and uh, it's like five o'clock or so here today and we will take them parts out a couple of them at a the time and we'll go in there at the war brush immediately war brush them now up to this point right here what we've done you can see this is how dirty I've got this is just this is how dirty it is I will tell you something about that sawing up them sawing up them graphites uh, don't track that stuff onto your carpet you know you need to clean that graphite dust stuff immediately because that stuff will go with you a long ways if you saw any graphite you know what I'm talking about you don't need me to tell you about that so tomorrow about five o'clock we resume